it's been raining all morning, all afternoon. The uh, weather, we have a little gap for uh, the rain to stop. So we're gonna try to hit that little gap. So we're gonna head over to my grandparents. It's, uh, it's a private land. It's not public like what Garrett likes to hunt at. It's only six or seven acres, so it's really not much. Kind of grateful for Garrett to come along, record for me tonight. As you guys will see as we walk into the woods, there's really not much over there like you would see at a public land. It's just a few trees here and there. You guys will see that it's totally different from public and private because it's just a small little six, seven acres over there. I'll show you the buffalo. Get at it. Once you cross over these trees down here, my blind's about 150 yards down in, and uh, you'll see right where the, the buck's been coming through that I'm after. We can go ahead and head down there, make sure there's no deer that we jump up or anything. And I'll show you guys right where that buck's been coming through at. So as you can tell right now, the wind kind of a little calm, but the wind's changed since we've got down here. It's not the way we want it, so I'm hoping that later on tonight that it changes for when the buck comes in. The buck that I'm, I'm after tonight, he's been coming in right, right over here. He's been coming over to the crab apple tree and eating and working his way through. So we just got in a blind and everything. We didn't bump any deer when we got in down in here. Um, generally, uh, about 5.45, we have does come in first with a few butt buck, probably 10, 15 minutes before, right before dark is when he comes out. Also, there is a, there's another buck that's been coming in too, and he's been coming in right, right before dark. Um, but the eight is what I'm really after tonight because he's generally been coming in 6.45-ish. I guess we're gonna wait to see. Right now, the, the wind's changed up a little bit the way we want it. Let's just hope that the wind stick with us and see if we have a good hunt tonight.
baby. Yes. Yes. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that was a hell of a shot, dude. Dad. Dad. What? I just shot a fucking giant. Holy. That was a hell of a shot. Dude, I got it. I got that it. That was a hell Dude, we gotta rewind that and see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude, I can't even. I gotta switch lenses. <laughs> Calm down now. It's been about 45 minutes, 50 ish, um, since I shot. We're gonna head back home. We're gonna make sure it's a clean shot. Um, make sure, you know, see if my arrow passed through and everything. And uh, once we make sure it's a clean shot, we'll come back out and start looking for him. <sighs> Pretty excited. You see him run right through here. Yeah. There's blood all over the corn. Then he took off right through here. So we'll back out a little bit, make sure I got a clean shot. We're gonna go up to the house, check the footage and everything, and go from there. Stay tuned, see if he's down. Guys, I just got off the phone with Garrett and it sounds like we got our very first deer dead on the ground. 2020 Hunter's Dirty Baby. As you guys can probably tell, I'm getting over a cold still, but that's not going to phase me because we got a deer dead on the ground. Um, I was just finishing up some editing, but now I'm going to hop in the truck and go try to help Garrett and his buddy uh, track this deer down. So uh, stick with us. We'll see you guys over at their house. He can take a four-wheeler through and tear it up instead. Yeah. Who is? He's bringing four wheeler Gary. See you, Morgan. Safe travels. Yeah, See you. Be safe. Um, hey, thanks. So uh, I looked at Garrett today about 2 o'clock, and I asked him if he wanted to go out today and film me. We have a 10-pointer been coming on, uh, coming in on camera, and we have a 8-pointer coming in on camera. The 8-pointer um, got mass, uh, got some trash hanging off of him. The 10-pointer is um, extremely wide. I told Garrett, I said, about 5.30, we should be seeing the deer. 5.45 rolls around, we see no deer. And Garrett says, it's because we're filming. I look over about 10 minutes after that, I look over and I see nothing but a, just a rat coming out of the woods. Garrett and I are fumbling around. I get down on a knee. I start shaking immediately, because I looked at the rack and I got Garrett over here telling me, breathe, breathe. I couldn't even pull back the bow two times. Um, he comes walking in, he takes two steps, and uh, as he takes two steps, he quarters away. And as soon as he quarters away, I take my shot. Oh. I look over at uh, Garrett, and as I look over at Garrett, he looks at me and he says, you got him, you got him. We watch him take off, blood was squirting, ev uh, squirting everywhere. Oh, so, stop it. Next thing you know, Garrett and I start high five and everything. I missed six high fives just at one time. Garrett grabs my hand, finally gives me a high five, and that's all we got for now. About to go look for him. If you watch the footage, as you watch the footage, you're going to see the arrow looks like it's out a little far. I think that's from the angle he was at. Because from the angle of the camera uh, is different than the angle of the shot because Joey was off to my left a little bit, off, shooting off a knee. So as you see, it's going to look like the arrow sticking out. I think that's because the arrow when he shot went through and I think it hit his backside shoulder on the backside so he didn't get a full penetration. I think the shot looks good. There's plenty of blood. I mean, I think we're good. It's been, I mean, he's been, we've, it's been an hour, over an hour since we shot now. So yeah, it's been almost an hour and a half. So I think we're good. 
I, everybody's here now, so we're gonna we're gonna head out and try and find him, and hopefully we can have a couple celebration beers when we find him. So stay tuned, guys. To actually this time, stay tuned to see how big he really is. Cause he went right between these trees right here. No, right here. Yeah, right here. And he went straight through here. Ran through here. All right, who's got a better flashlight? Um, Ray. Right here. Right there's more. I'll stay here until you get more. Yeah, we go up front. There's blood. Yeah. Right here's blood up here. Right here, right here. Oh, 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 right on the camera. Mm, no blood here. There's blood right here. He's in here. Right here he is. Baby. There he is, guys. With my arrow still stuck in him. Oh, he's palmated too. Look at that. He got a drop time coming off. Dude, that is weird. Right here first. Congratulations. Thank you, buddy. That's awesome. Okay, guys. So we got her done. We found him. He went what? What do you say? 150 yards probably. About 150 yards from where we, we uh, shot. He bled good at first. We started tracking him. Started to get a little bit more thin. 100 yards. Still never found arrow. We've seen low shots before in deer run for miles and never find them. So I think we were starting to get a little nervous. And then <laughs> blood went real thin, and it kept going thin. And then we went up a little bit farther, and here he lays. Like I said, I'm glad Joey asked me to go. I don't know. I'm sure everybody's seen the Luke Bryan reaction now when he shot his first deer. And <laughs> that was so much. The only thing that, the only way this wasn't a copy is because Joey didn't yell, did he get him? I know we try and shoot public land bucks, but private land buck, but hey, a deer is a deer. A good sized deer is a good sized deer. Video is a video. It is what it is. We did what we did. It started off crappy. It was raining really, really hard for a while. And then all of a sudden rain started letting loose and I was texting all my buddies who were out and asking him if they saw anything. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I did have my doubts because <laughs> it was six o'clock and we still had seen no deer and he kept telling me all day long, 5.30, 5.30, does are gonna walk in. There's a bunch of does walk in. Six o'clock still wasn't nothing coming. Sure enough, he walked out and I said, shoot him, shoot him when you got him. And he shot him and he got him. So we're excited. We, could, we, can't, we can't ask for nothing better. I think, like I said earlier, I think, it's, I think it's just exciting to see your buddy shoot a deer as it is for you to shoot a deer. Sure, and man. It, it, never, it never changes. This is, uh, this is deer one of the deer tour, so we'll see what happens from here. Hopefully we can get a couple more, so stay tuned and see what happens for the rest of the season, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'm going to have me a uh, cheers beer. <laughs>